Today, I plan to get my revenge on Clown Pierce. I've designed a trap that should be impossible for him to escape, but many, many players have failed to trap this man, so pulling this off will be a massive challenge. Yes, welcome back to Friend or Foe. If I'm gonna pull this off, everything has to go perfect. Everything has to be calculated to the last detail. And first things first for this trap, I'm gonna need a lot of leather. At the moment, I have 34, which is somebody here. I don't know. Anyway, I, I've got so that's a decent amount, but I need. I, I swear, if someone just comes and kills me and starts PVPs on, I would be very, very sad. So yeah, I need a lot of that. Also, gonna slightly repair this pickaxe with my last diamond. I need more diamonds. But let's grindstone this. And I have some lapis. Maybe not enough. Maybe need to go and get more. I've got so many levels from the XP farm that I will be able to 100% get looting eventually. Although it looks like, yeah, sadly, not this time. So I'm going to very carefully go out and get collecting. Mini down there. I don't see him. That's his house though. Yeah, not only am I going to be collecting a lot more lapis, but for this trap, I'm going to need dripstone as well. I don't know what I did with all my dripstone. Oh, a free crafting table. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, as it happens, I apparently didn't bring the dripstone home with me. I do know that the dripstone cave is, is somewhere around here. I've just got to find the way into it. And now that I have fortune three, getting things like lapis, redstone, more diamonds, it's going to be way, way faster. This is a cave entrance. Leads to iron. I, I, I think iron will be useful at some point. I just don't need it right now. And my nemesis, the creeper, just stay away. It's apparently not the dripstone cave I was thinking it was. I, I do not have time to be spending... Uh, okay, it is. Okay, I found it. Fan thank goodness for that. And emeralds. I'll, yeah, I'll just grab the ore for now. We might as well. And whilst these are the dripstone... I'm so scared a creeper's going to just walk up behind me while I'm mining. Yeah, whilst they are the dripstone block, I'll have to try digging down to... Yeah, there we go. There's the actual cave. Piece number one. I only need two of them, so it should be fairly quickly. I'll grab more, though, because I might as well. Let's land there. There's got to be redstone and lapis down here. I just have to find it. There's an enderman. That could be useful. My shield's also broken. I didn't bring any wood. You know what? I'm going to go and see if somebody will lend me some lapis, because I don't really want to go around without a shield, and I don't want to risk dying. I've got pretty bad armor right now, so I really do not think it is worth the risk. Okay, now I'm going to gravel squash. Yeah, I really do not think it's worth the risk. More emeralds though, that's nice. I've made it back to the surface. I reckon I can trust Mini enough that I could do some trading with him potentially whilst PvP is on. But to do that, I've really got to hope that he's actually at home. It looks like it. Okay, I'm going to drop by. I I'll give him a little fright, shall I? <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be kind to him. What is he doing down here? What are you doing at my base, sir? I have come to ask if I could borrow some lapis and some redstone by any chance. This is my fake chest room. You have a fake chest room. I don't want people griefing me. I don't want people griefing me. I got a little trick if you come on down here. Oh my goodness, look at this. Is that lapis at the bottom? No, no, there's water. It's not water. <laughs> Are you trying to trap me? No. <laughs> that is How not water. Up? I can see How it's would lapis. I survive? How would I survive? Y you placed it when you got to the bomb. Look, it's lapis. I, I put lapis. water in the car. Look at this. That was just a little test. It was a little test. I've got time. I've got a busy episode. Is what? Oh, no. How many <laughs> secrets? Go on, get in that chest. Oh, look at that. I'm going to take two stacks. I'll bring you back three stacks. Oh, I have look, a stack of redstone as well. I'll bring you two stacks of redstone back. Is that all right? Yes. I told you guys we could trust him. And we've got all the items we need now. Uh, well, nearly all the items we need. I do need a lot of leather still and a lot of wood. The leather is kind of optional for the trap, but I, I feel like it's just just to make sure that it works. I have to get that as well. So first things first, loot in three. Come, oh, only loot in two. Come on, game. There it is. Knock back two sweeping edge. Look, that's, that's exactly what I needed, okay? That is fantastic. I might as well... Grindstone this pickaxe here is... Mm, no, you know what? It's silt touch. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Clown Pierce has made the advancement to sneak 100. Okay, so he's gone into an ancient city. As I was saying, I need a, a lot of wood. I have quite a bit in the chest. I need 12 stacks to be exact, which I'm not in... Yeah, we're a little bit off yet. However, I have lots of gold thanks to that gold farm I made. So I'm going to craft gold axes, which will allow me to chop trees really, really fast. It's also very, very important that I keep my eyes out for leather because I need four stacks of that as well. I've only got half a stack at the moment. And most of the animals in this area have already been taken out. I, I don't feel like anyone's been in this direction. So maybe that's the way to go. Here is the jungle. I think the easiest way with this is going to be just to climb up as, as high as I can, which is apparently this level. And look at the speed. You can only break 32 logs with an axe. But when you're breaking them, it's quick and gold is so easy I can get loads of them. So this is a great little plan. 
Saves the durability on, on better axes. Look at that, already gone, but you're just like, oh, well, let's just get another one out. The leather is my biggest worry, because by my calculations, you get 2.4 leather for every mob that you take out. And with hoglings, it's less, so it's not worth doing those. You get more leather from things like cows and llamas and horses and stuff. But yeah, finding loads of them won't be easy, but it, it, it's, it's got to be done. And the item frames are just kind of my contingency plan so that he can't avoid the trap with ender pearls. Yes, you can place crafting tables and then they'd open the crafting interface instead of throwing ender pearl. But if they crouch as they're falling and throw an ender pearl, then the ender pearl will throw. So crafting table, just in case on the off chance, clown is smart enough to crouch as he's falling to throw the ender pearl. I have got that extra contingency plan. It is still possible to survive the trap if you're very clever with your ender pearl placement, but I feel like he's just not gonna have time to react. So the under item frames will make it very tricky to find that right place. It'll all become much clearer when I start building the trap. Like I say, it's the resource gathering that's the thing that worries me is gonna take a while. It's, it's honest, I've come up with this trap myself, designed it myself, planned it, so I've spent all week planning this, ladies and gentlemen, and it has to work. I have thought about everything when it comes to this. I'm sure nothing can go wrong. Hopefully they are not my famous last words. And the only thing I really need is the perfect bait to make sure that he actually comes to the trap. And I have got a plan for that as well. Also, whilst I mine all this, I think I am just going to make a shield. I, you know, when you just feel a little bit vulnerable when you're up and about, I think it might just be a good idea to, to, to have one in case. Yes, PvP isn't on right now, but it could come on at any moment. And then if it does, yeah, it, it could be a nightmare. Once this axe breaks, every bit of wood I need will be obtained. And there we go. Well on my way. Let's go and put that up there. Yeah, so it's exactly five stacks. <laughs> I've got five stacks on one, you know, just as an extra spare. Now, Operation Find Leather. I've got to go somewhere. There's lots of animals. I'm hoping that the jungle does end in this direction and that there's loads and loads of stuff to be found there, but it, it might not be easy. Location is also going to be key for this trap to make it believable so that Clown falls for it. I've got the perfect bait and I've got the perfect way to make him think that it is not a trap. So I've, I've, I've thought of everything. I just hope it works. And there's my first cow, okay? The leather can start coming in. We'll be getting loads and loads of it with this and... Not only will we be getting uh, leather, we'll be getting lots of food as well. It's just a shame I ain't got fire aspect. That would make this even better, but at the moment, that's that's not going to happen. When I work this out, I think it was 100 animals that I would have to take out to get it all. So it's a lot, but this is the perfect spot. Look at this. Absolutely fantastic. There's animals everywhere. And because we're in this biome, it's going to be one that has horses as well. I did wonder if trading with piglins was going to be a viable way to get the leather, but... I worked out again that all the leather needed would take probably like a thousand trades or something on, on the statistically. So I was like, yeah, you know what? That's probably not going to be the way that I want to do it. <laughs> Just going like this, getting rid of cows and also horses has to be the best method to get all the leather I need. Look at that. Already halfway to a stack, which means I just need... Three more stacks altogether. Time to get busy, busy, busy. Also, sorry donkeys, but you are also on the menu because you also drop leather. Might be an idea to cook a few of these because I am pretty much out of food. And a few mobs, oh my goodness, you've got, have you got swiftness or something? They both have. I don't know what the heck. I've got speedy spiders after me. Anyway, I've got enough food to keep me through the night, I think. And I've got my first stack of leather. On to the next one. Hope the villagers don't mind me ransacking them and steal this. Oh, I could get a bell as well for my house. Then people, if they want to come, to, come and visit me, they can ring the bell, that's fantastic. Also obtained my second stack, which is perfect. This room portal's handy, because I will need a little bit of extra obsidian, and I'll need two books of lava, so that's those. Oh, I could go ahead and put that on instead. Just a nice little upgrade. Yeah, I think it's 37 of these I need altogether. I've got 35 in the inventory. I'll get 40, and that should be absolutely perfect. And I won't be grabbing the gold blocks, because I already have infinite gold, so <laughs> that would be a little bit of a waste of time. i tell you what I will grab, though. Two buckets of lava. That is going to come in very, very handy for this trap. Progress is good. Everything's coming together. It's literally a case of getting about one more stack of leather, and I'm done. And I can start building. I, I, I Just exactly how I'm going to time this so that he actually will come to trap, that's going to be the difficult thing, but I'm I'm confident I can do it. I have to really hope that he doesn't come after me and try and PvP me. And I hope that Quiff doesn't because I'm really not got good gear. And that is a problem. But it is also a necessity. I want to not have good gear because then Clown is more likely to believe my story and follow. I'm sorry, I just orphaned you. I'm so sorry. But you know what? We're, we are desperate for this. Shouldn't be desperate enough to be orphaning baby cows. But anyway, it is done. Let's continue getting rid of all of these and the byproducts of this. Look at this. Three and nearly three and a half stacks of food as well, which is very, very convenient. And with that third stack, I am now on the home stretch. So I'm walking back in the general direction of where my base is. And there's an outpost. That's very, very good to know about. Obviously, raids aren't going to get me totems, but there's other uses from raids. And maybe I could use it to defeat a player somehow. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Use it for vexes. See, I'm just, these ideas are just coming in my head. 
Imagine, yeah, Vexes are so OP. Imagine if I could do that. Our PvP is on, speaking of, uh, speaking of that. That does worry me a little bit. Imagine if somebody finds me, kills me, and I lose all my leather. That would be the biggest disaster ever. It is done. Every single bit of leather is obtained. I can collect a little bit more for good measure. I'm not far from home, so it's time to get back so the building can commence. I hope nobody tries to ambush me on the way, as that, without a doubt, is the worst thing that could happen. I'm very, very worried as I head up. I feel like I'm not gonna be alone. I don't know why, but it just, it makes me very, very nervous if someone could be here. I think I'm good. I think I'm kind of safe. Gotta drop off all of this. Crafting every item, I'm actually really, really nervous. Require one comparator and one repeater. The skulk sensor is also huge. I am just gonna quickly make some boots and just enchant them with something random. Obviously it's not that good, but these are just a decoy to make it look like I've not got much, but I've had to do that. Swiss sneak is gonna be key. I'm hoping that Clown Pierce doesn't have that because it's gonna be a, it's, it's not super necessary, but it's just gonna be a, a helpful little thing for the trap. I need so, so many crafting tables. So that is what I'm also making. This is completely the challenge it spreads. Okay, so he's still in a skull catalyst area. That's good. Gates are also useful to stop him from being able to build. Basically, it's, all of this is set up. It's just to stop him being able to survive the trap. It's a lot of item frames. But boy, will it be worth it. And I think I'm ready. I think I've got everything. Can it all fit in my inventory? That is the next question. It just, I can't. Okay, I need an ender chest. Making one isn't a problem, but I do need another ender pearl. So that's got to be thought about. And some ladders. I am going to be building this above the roof of the nether. So ladders are, sorry. Okay, that is everything that I need. PvP only has 2 minutes 55, which is definitely, definitely, definitely a good sign. As the entire time I was in my base, I was very worried about getting ambushed and I was, yeah, just nervous the whole time. Now I just need the perfect spot to build this. After using the obsidian to craft the chest, I have to mine up more of this, a little bit annoying. And part of the plan for this trap is the fact that I want the gold farm to be en route so that he can see the gold farm on the way and then he won't suspect anything. Got all my obsidian, all of that is back in the ender chest and the ender chest is mined up. Let's carry on here. So it's somewhere in this direction where my gold farm is located. Perfect. You can start to see it up there. That's where the portals are that the pigmen go through before it's being sent back. So yeah, like I say, I want to be near enough that so that he sees it on the way, but far enough away from it so that none of the portals clash. I reckon down this cave could be the answer. I'm going to put a little block as a marker. That's the entrance. And I actually need some sort of trap door. What do you reckon? If I just grab a couple of logs and then to get to the portal, you're going to have to do something like this. Now, this is where the swift sneak comes in because you move a lot faster crawling when you have swift sneak. So that's how I plan to incorporate all of that. And yeah, I just want a tunnel that leads along. Doesn't need to be too far. Okay, that's probably going to be far enough. And then it opens up into a room where the portal is going to be. And as I go into this, I'm going to be facing north. Because when a clown goes through this portal, I want him to be facing the wrong way from the trap so that he's more likely to fall down. Everything, I'm telling you, everything has been thought of here, ladies and gentlemen, including the angle of the portal. So, if I go like this, chances are clown goes through and he is facing north. I also really hope this doesn't connect to the gold farm because I might die if I, if I go through and they're all there. No, we're good. Fantastic. Brand new portal. I'll have to mine up all the obsidian so that I have enough again. Although, before I do that, I need the coordinates of the one I just built so that I can actually connect them. Job well done. I can leave the rest of that there. And I need to go above the nether, but the fact is I used my one and only ender pearl to make the ender chest. So now I actually have no way to get above the nether, which means I need to go and... Either find an enderman or find the place that I was before. Since I do have a portal that will get me above. Swift Sneak is so good for bridging, by the way. It's just going to be something in general that will be very helpful for, for me to have. Warp Forest, fantastic. I've got loot in three, so everything is falling into place here. Let's sneak you into a boat. Two pearls, fantastic. So all that's left me to do is go up above the bedrock. Here we are at the top. So yeah, I'm just going to find a block that is high enough for it, which apparently this is. So let's hold jump forward and throw it. Fantastic. And now I have a very specific place where I must build this portal. It's actually right here. It's not far at all from uh, from a gold farm. Now, it's very important that I make this drop shoot long enough. There's going to be dripstone, which is going to increase the fall damage, but I'm going to make it about 60 blocks long. So I'm going to build up high enough. And this is the exact spot where the portal should be. I'm spawn proofing it. Probably don't actually need to. Just kind of working out where the redstone goes in connection. So yeah, basically, there's going to be a skulk sensor there. And then there needs to be an upside down dropper above the normal one. In fact, let me just remove that for now. 
that, like that, and one item in there, which will activate that comparator. And the trap is going to involve portals having to, to be deactivated, which is why I need the lava because you can't use water here. So that's like that. The only missing thing for this portal is, I'm just trying to find the easiest way to do this. Maybe if I break this, come through, redstone in. Now then, the only thing I've got to think about is, is this correct? Is it all facing the right way? This way should probably be south. And it is. Perfect. So when Clown comes through the portal, he's going to be facing this way. But he's not going to come through this portal. I'll be coming through this portal. Now, Clown appears to be coming through another portal next to this one with a drop shoot on it. So I'll be fine. He won't be. Let's just double check, though, that everything connects before I, I you know, commit to this. So it looks good. Into the left of the portal. Likely facing north. And that's why I'm facing the wall. Fantastic. Not much time to react. So now I'm going to get a boat and head down to the bottom and build a drop chute right next to it. At the bottom of my drop chute, I will be having dripstone, but I'm not putting that in just yet in case I fall down by mistake. Uh, honestly, it would be good to have something to break my fall, but there isn't, so just I'll have to make sure I don't fall down this. <laughs> I don't want to die when I'm creating my own trap. But yeah, this is where I need all the item frames, all the crafting tables, and also all the gates, which every single one has to be open. And they're going to be on each side. I could have them on these side ones as well, but realistically, I just don't have time. I didn't have time to get all the leather for it. It's just too much effort. So just bit by bit, I'll build this up all the way to the portal. Also, item frames. You may be wondering why am I placing them? So as I said, if you crouch and look at an item frame, doesn't matter whether you're crouching or not, you will place it in. So that is how I plan to stop him from being able to use ender pearls. I really hope this plan works. I'm going to be so sad if I have accidentally forgotten anything. I've also just messaged Clown to say I have a proposition for him. Can we meet up? I'm, I'm planting the seed already. I've also said I'd like to wait till PvP is over. Does that work? He says that works fine. It's happening. It's happening, ladies and gentlemen. I, the, the problem is I kind of done my best to test this out, but I've never tested it on other player this trap. So there's no guarantees. There's no guarantees that they will 100% work, but I am giving it absolutely everything I've got, and I just really hope it works. I mean, this is, this is a very systematic tower to build, isn't it? And it's, it's it's getting there. It just has to be complete before PvP is done. That's that's the only thing where Clown would maybe get suspicious if I'm like, oh, I, yeah, I'm still not done. He's like, oh, what's he up to? Whereas if, if I'm ready when PvP is over, and I'm like, yeah, are we ready to be, you know, I, I feel like he won't be able to suspect anything then. I'm almost there now, just a few more layers to go. Eight minutes, 50 remain of PvP. The drop shoot is done, which means it is now time to do the final bits of redstone and also build the portal that Clown Pierce will fall through. Pistons will be here. So once the portal breaks, blocks are then going to be pushed out and pushed him down. He's going to be facing this way at the start. So by the time he turns, he's not going to realize his gates. He should already be down there. I'm hoping. There's no way his reactions are going to be fast enough to stop. I, I, I mean, there's a chance, but it's going to have to be so fast to pull that off. This bit is also all obsidian, you know, proper box, so he can't just escape from it. But I want a little window of glass there so I can watch his face as he comes through and hopefully, hopefully I don't mess it up and he doesn't escape through there. But yeah, I can see him come through. I just want to see him. I just watch it. I don't need that bit of glass because I can see his game attack anyway, but just in case. The other dispenser for the lava. I'm going to go and place that in. And finally, a bunch of redstone to make everything work. Is that going to release the lava? Oh, it is. Okay. Um, stop, stop. Stop, that's not going to be good. We don't want lava going everywhere. Just temporarily take that out. I think that, that can go in last. So yeah, redstone there. Then there needs to be a full tape repeater. There's going to be a lever on the end, which is what I have to flick. I'm going to manually be the one to set off the trap. A few more observers are also needed because I need the trap to pick up the lava again. So there needs to be two pulses that go there. And in theory, it should be done. Let me just place you there. I also need a skulk sensor just in that block. In fact, do we... Yeah, just there. I, I think... I can place it. So if I now move, look at that. Oh, fantastic. It works. So the only other thing I want to do is definitely place that back. That's just going to keep going like that. I need to light up that portal through there. Don't lose my, lose my glass. That would have been bad. To do that, we're going to use flint and steel. And then, yeah, if I flick this lever, are you ready? Breaks and then push him down so fast. Okay. It's, it's, it's fantastic. The only annoying thing is I haven't got any slime, so I couldn't make sticky pistons. That would have been a little bit better, but it's not. Not the end of the world. He's got to fall down there. He has to. I do at the bottom definitely need to add some stuff. No, don't fall down there, Gold. That's annoying. Um, yeah, at the bottom, I definitely need to add the dripstone. So let's go like that. Yeah, that'll just have to go in there. I'll get rid of that little stack of netherrack. So yeah, I've got to, well, I'm, I'm going to have to go down and then come back up because the dripstone needs to be done. So we'll mine all of this away. Place those right there and the trap is set. Okay, the trap is well and truly set. 
I'll just build up with a load of blocks. Temporarily going to shut the gates. Gold there, obsidian in, and let's test it. Let's light them both up. In fact, I'm going to have to let that break and then and then do it again. Crouch through so not to set anything off. Okay, so this should connect perfectly fine. Going to mine up a couple more blocks just to make this room a little bit bigger. Through the portal, I will go. And then I just need to move, okay? That will break that portal and make it so that one connects. I, I might make it so that I can't walk off by mistake because that would be... A bit of a disaster, wouldn't it, if I if I did that? Meanwhile, this portal should now be the one that Clown Pierce comes through. So let's just double check that they're all connected. It looks like it. I'll go back through. So yeah, Clown Pierce is, is got to go second behind me in the portal, which is why I've got Swift Sneak. He'll go through and be facing that. It works, guys. It absolutely works. Okay, let's open those up. Place that down. It's locked and loaded, ladies and gentlemen. It is locked and loaded. I am going to light this portal. Let that break. Go through. Next time I come through, hopefully it will be taking out Clown Pierce. Someone's digging near me. I don't know what they're doing. Quiff, Quiff, what are you doing? You were here all along. How long have you been here? <laughs> I arrived when there was a minute left of PvP. You've been, you've been hunting me down. Quiff, <laughs> this, is a, this is a bad time. This is a bad time. Come down, come and swim in here. This, you, need to, you, you need to come back. Let me explain. You know, this, is, this is seriously serious. Just swim all down right, here. Coming. All right, I have been working on a plan, okay? Can you get past yeah. me? Yeah. I've been working on a, on a master plan and, and I, I can't... Nothing could go wrong. And, I, and I, I don't want you to walk into a trap, okay? Okay, okay, okay. So so keep with up, Paul. I'm meant to be meeting Clown Pierce at spawn, so I'm a little bit preoccupied. There we go. Um, just, 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 just keep, keep out there. I, I can't have any suspicions or anything like that, okay? Okay, okay. Um, I, all, all will be revealed. Oh, that's all I can say. <laughs> I hope, if oh. this plan works. Okay, you know what? I'm rooting for you. Thank you. I, it, it's, it's my plan to take out Cloud. You just you just keep keep yourself scared, all right? Keep out of the way. I honestly thought Quiff was going to mess everything up. He's actually logged off. Thank goodness for that. Okay. Thank goodness for that. I don't know whether this trap will work. All I know is Clown Pierce has to has to come, I don't even know if he's gonna come now to the farm. Basically, I'm gonna say, you can use my XP farm, and in return, I want some some diamond armor, because I don't actually have any good stuff at the moment, as you can see. I, I, I'm, I'm missing quite a bit of, of armor. I might even be better if I make an iron chest plate. That that could uh, just really cement it that I'm in, in bad stuff, because I don't wanna go in, in good loot, and then him be like, oh, he's fine. We've, we've got it. We've got to sell this to him. And the real secret to success with this entire thing is going to be patience. If I can be patient and, you know, I'm not going to make it seem like, oh, I want him to come right now. If he doesn't want to come and, and we have to set this up so that he comes in the next episode to the trap, that is fine by me. Okay. Patience is the key. I'm not, I'm not going to make it look like, oh, well, why don't you come and look at it? You know, none of that. I'm just going to say... You want to come whenever. You can come now. You can come some other time. If you want to prepare, to, you know, to get the best use out of the XP farm. Whatever. That is that is going to be an important, important factor in everything to make sure that it, it works. And I only have one worry. My one worry is that he declines the offer. If he declines the offer, Quiff now knows about the plan. So it's not like I can trick Quiff into it because he knows there's a trap there. Minnie is probably smart enough not to be suspicious, so it's, it's, it's clown or no one. It's annoying that it's night time. I, I might see if we can sleep, but I don't know if he has them. Um, <laughs> he has a bed. I might ask him to meet at his house. There he spawned. Finally found him. As you can see, I'm, I'm not doing too well at the moment when it comes to gear. I'm looking pretty... Um, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Pretty pretty bad. I, d I didn't want to be the one to say it, but... Yeah, you didn't want, I didn't want to drop me in it. So, basically, I've spent the last two episodes, instead of gearing up. I've spent it building an XP farm, all right? And it's a good XP farm, okay? You know, gets you from level zero to level 30 in less than a minute. Wow, so, that's great. That's pretty good. My proposition, I feel like someone like you could could use an XP farm every now and again, you know, just to, to get extra max things. Sure. I don't know, you've, why, you've got, you've got yeah, good armor. So if you could give me a full set of diamond armor, I'll let you use the XP farm for 30 minutes. At any for time 30 minutes? 30 minutes. I mean, is that enough or you want you want longer? I'll do it for two hours. I can use it for two hours. Two hours and for a full yeah, set yeah. of armor. Full set of diamond armor. You have yourself a deal. Yeah. Um, All right. Come on. Yeah. Why don't you come with me? I can give you it right away, and then you can uh, show me where it is. 
You want to you want to go now? Yeah. Do you want to just see it? I'll just like you can use your two hours. Oh, yeah. I mean, uphold our, our parts of the deal, right? You show me where it is, and I'll I'll give you the armor. Okay. I like Let's your house, see. by the way. This is the first time I've seen it. Thank you. Yeah. It's. Uh, I like. Look at this in the it's floor. My little yeah. abode. I, I got the armor on me. And okay. uh, if you show me where the the grinder is. Look at this. Do you not trust yours. me? Do you not trust me? I, 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 yeah, you know what? I guess see? I trust you. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah then, you're right. You have yeah. No problem I guess, with it. I guess if you don't see it, then I can't, I can't offer it, you know. Follow me then. So this, this XP farm is a gold XP farm. Mm -hmm. And it's also, it'll, so you know what? Any gold you get from it, you can keep as well. Or rotten flesh. I don't know what you do with the gold because you can't craft golden apples, but yeah. you know. You can build a palace. Right on it. Or. You can use the enchantment table and bookcases set up there as well. We've got a full a full thing for that. Are you just sorting your inventory as we're going on? Uh, yeah. I just see items flying out all the time. <laughs> there might be something good back there that I need. Oh, a boat. Nice. Right, you get, yeah, free boat. You know, that comes with the deal oh, dude, if you really this is, want it. This is customer satisfaction right there. The reason it's far is because you have to build it in a nether waste biome. And mm -hmm. you'll notice our portals are all in crimson forests and warped forests. So... I had to yeah. go a little bit in the nether, but obviously like a few hundred blocks in the nether, it's suddenly like 800 blocks in the old world. So I get it, I get it. But it's also out of the way, you know, we don't want Quiff knowing where it is, we don't want Mini knowing where it is, you know. But Precisely, yeah. That is the um, overworld part of the farm, obviously it's all in the nether because they get sent through, but just uses the overworld. Does it all make sense? I, I don't know if you want to understand the mechanics of how this farm works, or if you're just like... I've just seen it before, it. but yeah, if you... I mean, you gotta unlink the portals, right? So... Yeah, you just have to. There's that. It's just a bit of maths, you know. You wouldn't, have, you wouldn't have thought I know how to do it, would you? The calculator and all that. So anyway, I've, I've hidden the entrance as well because I just don't want mini or. Yeah, exactly. I mean, is this a marker or, or are you gonna get rid of that? Cause... Ah, well, I think we get rid of it. You know, nobody, nobody probably, needs it. Probably, probably for the best. So it's through this cave, and there's a trap door here, which I probably should remove, but it's just through here. This portal at the end. Goodbye, Clown Pierce. Goodbye. It worked! I can't believe it worked! He fell for it! He actually fell for it! I feel bad. I feel really terrible, but I had to defeat him one way or another. I had to. Oh, all that work. All this loot. It's all mine, ladies and gentlemen. Not only did we get this set of armor that I got him to take out of his ender chest, but oh, I've got it all. Oh, strength, stuff, everything. Oh, look at this netherite chest plate. It's fun. <gasps> Whoa. What on earth? Where did that lava come from? Okay, well, we don't need lava, but anyway. Imagine if I just die now while I'm clicking. Did some of it burn? Nah, I can't burn. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I have killed Clown Pierce. And now the series is getting very, very interesting.